We were somewhere around Madison, searching the meaning of purgled or confide, when the asbestos began to take hold. Suddenly, there was a terrible roar all around us, and the sky was full of what looked like huge math teachers swooping and screaming and diving around the car. What's all that yelling about? I think you should drive. No point mentioning these visions, I thought. That poor child will see them soon enough, too. I've never ridden in a radial flyer wagon before. Is that so? Well, Arrigan's about time, isn't it? Yeah, we're your friends. We're not like the others. How long could we maintain, I wondered? How long before one of us starts raving and jabbering at this boy? What will he think then? Can you hear me? All right. Let's get right down to the heart of this issue. 24 hours ago, we were in the Tower TV studio. Miss V was hollering at me that my last segment was inappropriate. Maybe it was. All that matters was that we had to go to the cross-country meet to help Miles film. Don't try to make this into some kind of theological search, she said. Well, we'll show her. After getting our camera equipment out of the basement, we made our way to the parking lot. The bus had left us. And if Miss V finds out, we'll be hunted down like dogs! Miles? What? It's over. We missed the meat. We have to go back to Miss V. Signing off for Tower TV, this has been Mark, Leo, Mo, and Ian.